Okay, I promise you this question is way easier than it sounds. I know X cubed is gonna throw some people off and be like, oh, I didn't learn that. It doesn't matter. The, the best policy on a lot of math questions is just to like do the most obvious thing. We're given this original expression. Um, we could just distribute this negative, right? Like why would we do that? Well, I don't know. It seems like something we normally do, right? If you have these things in parentheses and you have stuff outside, we distribute it. So if we distribute it, we get 5x cubed. We don't need the parentheses at the beginning. There's nothing in front of those, so they can just get dropped. And then two negatives make a positive. So plus 4x cubed and then minus 8. And now we would, again, just kind of doing the simplest thing, combine like terms. So 5x cubed plus 4x cubed is 9x cubed. And then the negative 3 and the negative 8 is negative 11. And so look. It matches with what we have, right? Bx cubed minus 11. So what's the missing B that they wanted? It's nine, done. Now, if you wanted, because this is an easier version, we're able to arithmetize here. A lot of questions with this format, we won't be able to arithmetize because the end result will have multiple X pieces, right? So if there's an X cubed and an X squared, and an x, we've got lots of x pieces. And if we arithmetize and put something in place of x, we're gonna lose that separation. So in a lot of cases, we are not gonna be able to, to do this. But in this case, since it's only an x cubed, we could just make x equal to one. And then this original expression becomes really easy, right? Because one cubed is just one. So there's basically the x's don't matter anymore. This is five minus three minus negative four plus eight. So five minus three is two negative four plus eight is eight minus four is four, so two minus four is negative two. So that's kind of like what this is equal to. And now I'm gonna say, okay, well this is supposed to be equal to that as well. So B, we don't know, but we know X is one, we made that up, minus 11, and that's supposed to also be equal to negative two. So B minus 11 is negative two, and then just solve for B by adding 11 to both sides, B is, well, negative two plus 11 is nine. So it works out. Um, like I said though, this won't always work because a lot of times when they do this style of question, there are more components and we need to keep the components separate in order to understand how they interact with each other. In this case, there's really only one kind of unknown piece, the BX cubed, and that lets us arithmetize because um, basically what it means is the X's disappear. So just kind of, you know, you can always try arithmetizing, especially with the number one, because it's really simple and very quick. Uh, and if it doesn't work, then you might have to do it the, the kind of the way we started with in the red. Um, but um, it's not as bad as it looks no matter what. So just try something and see what happens. A lot of times on the SAT map, if you just try the first thing that you can think of, it was probably the right thing. So just do it and see what happens. Don't worry about whether it'll work until you've actually done it.